Okay, I agree that this video can easily be named as one of the most delayed video that I've ever done. So finally, I have rolled out my VS Code theme and uh, the shorter version of it, just go ahead, update your VS Code and make sure once it is updated fully to this date, then go up into the extension, search for teacher and I've named this theme as teacher. Just click on it and install it and that's it. You will get all of the themes and updates that I have done uh, over the time to make sure that this looks absolutely nice and solve some purpose as well. Now that is the shorter version of this video. In case you are here just to look up for the theme that how I use it, what I use it, it's available now to everybody. You can go ahead and enjoy that. But in case you want to listen out a little bit more that why this theme came into existence and what are the problems that this theme is solving, how I came up with that. So stick around and we're gonna have a little bit talk over that. But in case you want to leave, that's fine too. Okay, first, why I named this VS Code theme as teacher. I think this theme should be used by all the people who teach programming on internet because this theme solves a lot of purpose which students are facing and solves all of that problem. So what are these problems? We are gonna talk about them one by one. So one of the things which I look about when I'm teaching programming is that students should be able to follow all of the code thoroughly and they should be able to see this code very cleanly if even they are watching on the mobile screen as well. Now this brings its own set of challenges that how you're gonna accomplish this task. And again, the most important thing is even are you thinking about these challenges or not? Because yes, I understand this what I have done is a little bit overkill. Not a lot of people think about it, but I love to overkill. So this is what I've done. I know these were challenges and I figured out a solution for them, but this was not a solution that came up in over a day or a month or a week. It was a really long process. And finally, a lot of people were asking for this theme. They find it beautiful. So I thought let's roll out this finally into the marketplace. So what are the challenges that I faced up around? Let me walk you through with these challenges. So this is the VS Code. A project is opened up as a dummy project. And let's go through with the default theme of the VS Code. First, the bottom blue bar. Okay, this is nice and easy, but it doesn't give you much of the information if more things are opened up here. So we're gonna talk about that, but this was not a big issue. The first challenge that I faced up in the VS Code was the terminal. Now look at this, the difference between the contrast where I area between where I write the code as well as where I see my terminal. This is almost same. If I open up any of the VS Code space or any of the code file, whether JavaScript, Ruby or PHP, there is not too much difference to differentiate that I have opened up the terminal and I've written this command in the terminal. I know this is pretty normal for uh, somebody who writes code every single day, but for beginner, this is challenging. And also the second problem that usually student face is losing where the cursor is. So if I click up here, uh, the cursor is lost almost. And when I click up here and number of times I try to bring your attention on different lines, if I get a little bit speedy up, it's very easy to lose the cursor because the background contrast and the highlighted area where my cursor is, that line is really not too much. So that is again a big issue. Now another issue is that if I open up this app.js and uh, let's just open up index.css and index.js, notice here I'm moving into different file but the top tab, that's not doing justice. And when you're a beginner and you're learning something from my courses and that is teaching you about five different files of JS alongside, it's easy to lost. And I've seen uh, in so many of tutorials on YouTube as well that it's not really easy with the default uh, theme or any of the theme that doesn't address this problem. Of course, they should never address this because it's not a problem for them anything. Okay. Apart from this, uh, notice here a couple of more things that in this file, let's just say for example, uh, the theme of the things in the double quotes is just orangish. I, th I found that this little bit too much of the contrast. I think somehow I think that uh, all the things inside the double quotes should be green. I don't know why, but I, I think that's, that's how it should be. All the strings should be green. And uh, another problem is look at this const and the invoice generator. Const is just a keyword and invoice generator is a variable here. So, or a constant, but this is just a name. This shouldn't have the same contrast as the const here, and they are having very similar kind of contrast, which I really don't like it. And on top of that, look at this lazy and uh, all of these uh, methods. Uh, so they, they should be more contrasty and should be easily visible for the students because most of the time we create a lot of functions. That's what we do in programming. So we create a lot of methods. Now again, you can argue that yes, these are problems, but not that too much. Yes, it bothered me. So I came up with a solution eventually. 
first thing I did was uh, updating my inbuilt terminal and that's it I was fine with that now eventually all these uh, customization began and uh, eventually I went into the rabbit hole of creating too much of customization and turns out this was all different so now let me walk you through with how the theme actually looks like so this theme is specifically you can just search for teacher make sure your VS code is updated and click on install it's gonna ask you on to your command palette just hit enter there is just one theme as of now and notice now things have changed First, there is a contrast a little bit onto the purplish shade. Initially, in the early days, I was going with the orange contrast here, but it was grabbing too much of attention, more than what I wanted. Uh, so I've gone ahead and removed that. Now let's go back. The first thing you're going to notice is the bottom panel. So now the terminal and my code area where I write code are, are too much different. And I can easily see if I go ahead and uh, install any of the app, it's much more easily invisible. This green big cursor brings your attention that yes, this is how it is working on. Now also, I've seen a couple of purplish theme and uh, Dracula theme and all of that, but they were too much either dark or too much contrasty or if you just bring in purple, everything becomes purple. I'm a, I like purple, but not that much. So that is why I went up with the background color of a little bit subtlety and importantly, I'm focusing a lot on where my cursor is. Now, whenever my cursor moves on, it gives a difference and it's easily visible for everybody that, okay, this is where your cursor is pointing and I can easily find that out. If I write any line of code, automatically, this becomes almost like a kind of a highlighting. I don't need to do too much of editing. So this is what's going on. Also notice here at the top bar, uh, here now it's much more easy to find out for a beginner that on which file I'm working on. If I talk about by hovering just over file, they also get attention but not too much and it's much more easily to find out on which file I'm working on. And also on the left hand side bar, I have changed the colors of these icons a little bit. I think black was not looking good. So I moved to white eventually. And I noticed that having a little bit grayish area gives an idea that this ones are not selected. This one is selected. If I go up here, this one is selected. I haven't touched too much of the things. For example, if you go ahead and work on with the branches, these are orange, nice attracting colors. So I haven't touched them up, uh, but I have touched some of the things like all these constants and invoice. And of course, if you go ahead and write some of the comments, uh, these comments are there. So they are getting italics. So if I go ahead and say comments, comments are here. They are definitely a little bit more in the contrasty because for the teaching purpose, importance on the comments is there. They get automatically italicized. So that's how I go ahead and differentiate between them. So yes, I have modified a whole lot of things. Eventually a lot of tokens were modified. And yes, we call them token. Uh, so all these things like you want to tokenize or make a different color for return, you can do that. It's, it's totally okay and normal. So this is all what I have done. So go ahead and just grab this theme up here and install that. I have gone through a lot of things. Uh, for example, I cannot talk about all of the customization that I've done. Probably you won't be using it. For example, if you just scroll at the bottom, uh, these are also color coded now. So maybe for some reason you want users, uh, attention of the user to be up here that, hey, I'm clicking on this go live. And these are subtleties uh, which are very important when you're teaching. Uh, so I highly recommend that every single teacher or whoever is trying to teach code on YouTube, go ahead, give it a try on this theme. This is absolutely lightweight. There is not too much of the fancy shenanigans that I'm doing, just color coding and making sure some of the problems that are actually there are getting solved with this. Okay, I have geeked out quite a lot about the theme that I've done. Uh, but yes, a lot of things and thought have been gone into designing this theme. Surely there are many other great themes out in the market, but this is what I liked and this is what I am settling right now. I'll surely push more updates on this and probably roll out a lighter version of that very soon. Not the light version that you regularly see, but a different taste on that. So that's it for this one. Uh, I hope you are still with me. If not, that's fine. Uh, but thank you so much if you are still in with me in this video. Quite a long journey and a boring one as well. But thank you so much for being up here. I'm going to surely catch you up in the next video. And in case you like this, go ahead, hit that subscribe else also. And let's catch up in the next video. When your soul is lonely, sad and blue you got the love and shoulders to lean on There's always a sunny side across the river Take a ride, take a swim and all